that a fish? Yes. It was right in that foam line. Courtney and Brandon Robinson love to fish the South Llano River. We have kind of two branches of the river converging right here. They're fly fishing for Guadalupe bass. Bunch of deep pools. It's more shallow water, skinny water. Fish on. This is why I love catching quads. They're little fish, but they use the river to fight. Um, so we're gonna see little bass in the shoals area, like in that little rapids area over there. There, there we go. <laughs> Just a little guy. But catching these little Guadalupe bass hasn't always been so easy. We're here on the South Llano River and we're electrofishing Guadalupe bass. There's some fish in there. See how the population here that we've been working on in the last few years is doing. The Guadalupe bass, the state fish of Texas, was once on the brink of disappearing from the South Llano River. The introduced smallmouth bass has been crossbreeding with the native Guadalupe for decades. They can breed with each other, and what results is what we call a hybrid. And uh, those fish, are they're not our pure native Guadalupe bass, so we're trying to restore these populations throughout the state. Well, it's probably going down to the day use area and walk down there it's just so we get the fish nicely spread out. Biologists came up with the idea to basically push the small mouse out of the South Llano and other hill country rivers by stocking millions and millions of native Guadalupe bass fingerlings. We're stocking large numbers of these pure fingerlings. And what the goal is that these pure fish outnumber the hybrids and so that we reduce that overall hybridization rate and get it back to where we have an almost entirely pure population of Guadalupe bass. Here we go. A large one there. So now, based on these frequent trips to check on the conservation efforts, Guadalupe bass, 228. The data show the pure Guadalupe are back. We've been working on Guadalupe bass here in the Texas Hill Country for about 25 years. We've been really successful in restoring these populations and, and these iconic Texas Hill Country streams with their clear waters. And now we have Guadalupe bass in a lot more reaches of these streams here for people to enjoy. Or oh, what? Very nice. And that's good news for avid anglers like Brandon and Courtney. Good size go ahead. <laughs> nice. That's why the Llano River is such a great river to fish, because these fish are here. This project was funded in part by a grant from the Sport Fish Restoration Program.